Hubhopper Originals. To start your podcast for free, log on to studio.hubhopper.com. Hello everyone and welcome back to Indie Jeans. As we continue in our quest to talk to interesting people not only from India but around the world, today's episode is groundbreaking. Maybe for the first time on a podcast, we have shown that language is not a barrier anymore. And if you are doing interesting stuff, an Indian Jeans is here waiting to speak to you. Our guest today is an Italian astrophotographer that has recently captured the picture that is a rage on the internet where she has published the moon in 48 different hues and colors. This picture is a compilation of her work from over 14 years. Besides astrophotography, she is also a teacher and her pictures have regularly featured on international astronomy magazines, websites and all over the internet. Her picture, The Moon and Antelope, was selected by the Royal Astronomy Museum of Greenwich for Astronomy Photographer of the Year in 2015 and subsequently her pictures have now been featured by NASA on their official website. We ask you to now sit back and enjoy this very special episode as we break boundaries as far as language is concerned from Italian to English. We now present to you this very special person, none other than Marcella Pace and her friend Pablo, who will help us translate from Italian to English. Marcella, all the way from Italy, a very, very big and warm welcome from all of us here in India. Thank you. Thank you. Great. And just so that all our listeners know as well, we also have Paolo online. Paolo is going to help us to translate for Marcella from Italian to English. So this is going to be a, a fun episode. It's going to be enjoyable to all of us. So Paolo, welcome to you as well. Oh, thank you. Thank you to all your listeners and thank you to you. Joking. Marcella, how would you say hello to everyone in India in Italian? Ciao a tutti e grazie per avermi invitato in questo podcast. Sono molto contenta di questo. Marcella, first of all, uh, I ju- I've been following your work and I think all of us have looked at what you're doing. Uh, is it possible for, a, for you to just give us a little bit of background on how you started or where did your interest start with photography? Or you can go back and tell us a little bit more about yourself. Um. Ho iniziato da, da quando ero nella scuola, a scuola, um, mi ha trasmesso la passione un mio professore. Um, Marcella, Marcella is saying that uh, she started when she was at school and the, the, the first, the, the most important thing for her was a teacher, who, an astronomy teacher. And everything started from this teacher. Uh, nel tempo poi comunque um, ho acquisito anche un'ottima osservazione verso la natura, verso um, yeah. le cose terrene e anche verso il cielo. Uh, by the time growing older, uh, she started being interested in, uh, in the nature, everything about nature, so animals, uh, but particularly for what happened to, uh, to the sky, more than other things, but her main interest was the nature. Uh, um, great. And uh, you are also a school teacher, right, Marcella? Sì, si, in primary uh, school yes. for children. She was a, a primary school teacher. And science can be disseminated in two ways. Like what I do is a podcast by speaking. And I think what you're doing is very similar to what I'm doing, but you're doing it with pictures. And I find that so amazing that both of us are coming together to do the same thing. But how do you see your pictures and what are you trying to put out? Tutto nasce proprio da questa mia osservazione verso la natura che mi ha spinto anche a memorizzare attraverso lo scatto fotografico eh, le mie osservazioni eh, e cercare di renderle quanto più eh, interessanti e quanto più coinvolgenti così come magari riesco a essere coinvolta io quando Le osservo. She chose the photograph as the, the mean to, to express her interest in, um, in the science phenomena. A casual thing that she used photography as a, a simple mean to express her interests. 
e anche i miei alunni um, spesso mi, mi fanno domande sul cielo, di che colore è il cielo, oppure mm. eh, domande specifiche. Io, mi piace dar loro risposte e anche testimoniare attraverso yeah. la fotografia. E come uh, uh, ogni child può uh, put questions that are uncomfortable for an adult, uh, she as a teacher uh, always tried to answer to the, the question, the questions of uh, her children at school, trying to be um, a, as clear as she could, thanks to the photography. In 2011, she received an award from the Minister of Public Administration. That was the national prize, I think, for innovation in teaching in okay. schools called Innova Skuda. Innova Skula, I hope I've pronounced that correctly. But can she tell us more about that? Uh, beh sì, ovviamente um, um, a scuola um, porto um, tutto quello che è il mio interesse, appunto la mia uh, passione e altrettanto i bambini mi trasmettono uh, la loro passione pure che um, verso il cielo e io e insieme, insomma, con il connubio di tutto questo fa sì che uh, realizzi anche dei prodotti insieme a loro che siano poi premiati dal, dal yeah. ministro. It's part of of uh, her interest in uh, transmitting this passion to the children. So she always tries to, uh, to create curiosity in the children. So uh, this uh, prize was uh, because she uh, was able to, to find a, a creative solution to, to stimulate children's curiosity. This is part of the way she tries to teach children. Marcella, how did you start technically getting into photography because I'd looked at some of your pictures they are just exactly. amazing so one part of it is clicking a picture now are you using could you tell us what type of equipment or cameras you're using because I see a lot of moon close-ups could you give us a little background on your technical setup how do you how do you plan your shots and what do you do Beh, allora intanto eh, la prima, il, prim, il mio primo acquisto appena ho finito, terminato le scuole è stata proprio una macchina fotografica. Uh, well, uh, her first purchase as soon as she ended schools was a, a camera. Proprio per immortalare quelle che erano uh, le, mie, mh, le mie osservazioni nella natura, principalmente uh, mi interessava fotografare proprio elementi naturali. Yeah. This is because uh, of uh, her passion. So uh, she, uh, the, the, the very first money she had were used to buy a camera. Uh, non avevo nessuno che mi insegnava a quei tempi. She was self-taught. Mm. Una macchina fotografica analogica. She had a, an analogical uh, camera. E non sempre i risultati erano uh, oh. gradevoli. <laughs> And the results were, were not always uh, fantastic. <laughs> E, pertanto poi con l'avvento del digitale ho iniziato a sperimentare e a migliorarmi. But then, uh, thanks to the, 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 the affordable uh, digital cameras, uh, she started getting better and better. E poi la mia attrezzatura inizialmente era molto uh, essenziale, erano macchinette yeah. che man mano poi sono diventate delle macchine un po' più importanti, attualmente ho una... Nikon D750 um, una Nikon Z6 yeah. uh, At first the, uh, the gear was very simple and, but now she has a, a Nikon D750 D750 and a Canon uh, can, uh, Nikon Z6 and a Nikon Z6. Uh, Z, Z, Z6 So you've had no technical training and how do you set up for these long do you use some kind of uh, focus mm -hmm. could you tell us a little bit more about what Excuse lenses me. you use ah ho un teleobiettivo mm, hmm. un sigma she, 600 mm she uses a, a 600 mm a zoom tele zoom tele zoom and one telescope <laughs> and also a telescope un wow. telescope però molto per ragazzi, ecco, non un telescopio professionale. Not a professional one. Solo per uso fotografico, un Ju telescopio. Yeah, uh, useful just for, a uh, for photography, not, not astronomy. Great. And do you set this up uh, somewhere on, a, on your roof 
or you go out to find a clear sky what location do you choose when you're clicking these uh, pictures especially of the sky eh, ho la fortuna di vivere in campagna in un posto mh, non mo- dove non c'è molto inquinamento luminoso e questo mi favorisce eh, il non andarlo a cercare altrove she says that she's lucky enough Uh, to live in, a, in the countryside, so it's easier for her to find a, a not too polluted sky. And she also uh, goes uh, away uh, taking pictures, so she doesn't have a, a single place. She, she loves to, to move for taking pictures. Marcella, I see a lot of your pictures have amazing shots of the moon. And I'm specifically talking about, for example, There's one on your Twitter page that says each day a different day. image or photograph of our fascinating universe. And this was on 22nd of May where you have placed yeah. all the phases of the moon that it goes through in a circle. That's probably one of the most beautiful pictures I've seen online. Can you explain That's first cool. of all to us the fascination with the moon? Ah, ehm, si tratta eh, di tutte le lune eh, piene che io ho fotografato in dieci anni. There are just full moons all uh, photographed uh, in uh, ten years. Che mi è capitato di that she happened to, to, to take picture of in ten years. So it was not a, a plan, but she in during these ten years she took pictures of, uh, of these full moons. E in un, nel periodo della pandemia, um, okay. non potendo effettivamente um, fotografare, eh, yeah. muovermi molto, um, mi sono dedicata a questo tipo di lavoro, and di during, raccolta. E durante il lockdown, she had the chance to uh, collecting and uh, to elaborate all these pictures. And s- in particolare, essendo uh, appassionata di fenomeni ottici atmosferici, in particolare and, essendo uh, and, appassionata di fenomeni ottici atmosferici. Yeah, and specifically uh, being she a uh, very fond of atmospheric phenomena, optical phenomena. Optical phenomena. Ho, ho scelto proprio uh, le lune riprese basse sull'orizzonte. She chose to take uh, the moons when they were sl- uh, low on the horizon. E questo uh, ha fatto sì che ogni luna avesse una colorazione differente. And this allowed the moon to be differently colored. Uh, perché quando la luna è bassa sull'orizzonte, uh, lo scattering atmosferico uh, cambia la loro colorazione. Because when the moon is low at the horizon, the scattering, the moon changes the colors because of the scattering. E la rifrazione, infatti alcune lune sono uh, anche schiacciate. And the refraction uh, uh, create a, defor- uh, a deformation on the moon itself. Se guardate, alcune lune sono schiacciate. Uh, and uh, as you can see, many of these moons are uh, deformed, compressed. are compressed. They seem some ovals, not perfectly circle. E l'ultima luna, quella più esterna, ha una colorazione, eh, un, uh, una luna piena, una luna mh, in eclisse. And, and the, most, the most external moon is, an, an, a, is a moon during an eclipse. Absolutely beautiful. And I would definitely ask everybody who's listening to us to please get on to Marcella's Instagram page or get on to her Twitter. And you can follow her work there. You can see the picture that we are actually talking about. And it's just amazing to know that it's been... 10 years and it's a combination of 10 years and uh, I will put up the links in our podcast episode when it does come up. But something I want to ask you, Marcella, I was just thinking, this picture is so amazing when you talk about 10 years. Have you ever thought of making it into an NFT and selling it out there online? I'm not sure if you or Paolo are aware of NFTs, but I can tell you you should definitely consider that. This picture is worth a lot of money in the NFT market. 
in genere le persone che mi chiedono di acquistare questa foto sono, sono, sono molte e ho scelto insomma momentaneamente non avendo una pianificazione riguardo la, la, la vendita di questa foto um, ecco ho scelto di um, creare un piccolo fondo per donarlo a delle associazioni uh, questo, animaliste okay. um... No, she she didn't think about the NFT. She just happened to sell this picture and sometimes trying to to compensate the her, her passion for uh, animals. So ma many of the the, the 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 small money she get from this picture uh, goes to associations that uh, uh, take care, of, uh, especially of animals. But the, the short answer is no. She didn't think about NFT. And thank you for the suggestion. Yes, I would think there are going to be a lot of people after listening to this and looking at that picture. I would, I would suggest you to please think in that direction because, yeah, I'm sure there's, and it's beautiful that whatever money you're getting from this, you are putting it into animal welfare. So I'm sure there's a lot more you will be able to do for animal welfare if this goes out as an NFT. But yeah, that's just my suggestion. And Marcella also in 2015, there was a picture called Moon and Entelio. And for that picture, you had won the Astronomy Photographer of the Year, uh, if I'm right. And that was in 2015, published. And it was also published by the Royal Observatory of Greenwich in collaboration with BBC. How did you feel when you, when you got that kind of an award? Eh, beh, è stato il mio primo riconoscimento e quindi veramente ho manifestato eh, molto entusiasmo al riguardo e anche eh, il luogo dove io ho scattato, la cittadina dove io ho scattato proprio questa, questa immagine, ha voluto pure partecipare a questa gioia creando del, un evento con, delle, con una mia mostra di alcune mie immagini, compresa quella selezionata al concorso. Yeah. Yes, this was her first uh, first uh, prize she got from her passion for photography. So she was very happy with this. And also the municipality decided to uh, to make a, an exhibition of pictures from Marcella because uh, uh, it's, it's a, a very small town in the mountains of uh, northern Italy. E so, poi anche l'emozione di andare a Greenwich ed essere mh, lì presente e vedere la propria foto esposta. Yes. She was very thrilled, very, very touched by seeing her picture at the, the Royal Observatory of Greenwich. Correct me if I get this pronunciation right. Is the town, is it San Vito di Cadori? Have I said it right? Yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect, right. great. Yeah. yeah. And do, uh, I know during that particular exhibition, there were about 100 of your photos that were put up with optical illusions. Can you just... Tell me, tell me, or for our listeners, it says that you also had photo yeah. meteors. What, what are photo meteors? Eh, le fotometeore eh, sono i fenomeni che, mh, che avvengono, eh, i fenomeni ottici proprio che avvengono eh, nella nostra atmosfera quando eh, diciamo, il, è investita dalla luce degli astri, in questo caso del sole, della luna. These are the, the, the kind of uh, phenomena happening uh, in the sky, in the atmosphere. Uh, related to the the light, no, light esempio. like a rainbow or a mirage. So the, all these kind of uh, optical phenomena are called uh, photometeore. Uh, and just oggi ce n'è stato anche uno che l'ho fotografato proprio prima di. Uh, and just a few minutes ago there was one uh, in uh, in the sky here. They are very rare. È un fenomeno insomma molto raro. E basta proprio attenti e si possono osservare in qualsiasi momento e che yeah. non guardiamo molto il cielo. Yeah, that uh, some they, they happen but we don't use to look at the sky, but the, there are many of these uh, mm, phenomena happening. L'arcobaleno è a portata di vista, uh, yeah. al altri fenomeni ci sono come ad esempio l'arco circumzenitale che appare proprio allo zenith. Yeah. Uh, Whilst the uh, a rainbow uh, always happen uh, in, and we can see it easily because it's uh, un, uh, in, in, our, in the direction of our eyes. There are many other kind of uh, strange things that happen in the, in the sky now, in the vertical, and we don't use to, to take a look at the sky. Circum circumzenital arc. <laughs> circumzenital arcs, yeah.
Yeah, that's beautiful because in fact, it, it was an iPod two 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 NASA. months ago. iPod stands for astronomy picture of the day. They are pictures that are uh, uh, posted by the NASA and ASA. And two months ago, one of these pictures of these uh, objects, uh, a picture from Marcella, was uh, published by the NASA as an apple. Right. And I know that, uh, first of all, that's amazing. Because just listening, listening to your story, Marcella, you're a real inspiration to everybody listening. And most of the uh, our listeners are college and school uh, school students so about 75 to 80 percent of people who listen to this podcast are in the age group of 12 to 24. Eh beh ecco di mh, eh, capisco che magari si vive molto più in città e molto meno eh, nella natura ma stare eh, tutto il tempo um, ripiegati ecco su di un cellulare eh, magari non, non ci aiuta a osservare quello che magari abbiamo abbiamo intorno eh, che mm. eh, può essere veramente spettacolare, può essere anche fotografato, ma proprio con lo strumento che magari ci distrae che è il cellulare. Her suggestion is, is to, uh, to not to pay too much attention to our mobile, our devices mm, that absorb most of our concentration attention, but to stop these mobiles sometimes and just just look especially at the sky. Right, because i wonder that's a good question and if we ask everyone again when is the last time we actually looked up at the sky i think that would be and we took a survey of people we would be amazed that probably it's been months since anyone have us have looked up at the sky so marcella now the what i find really really interesting is in september 2018 nasa published an image from you for the first time of the moon setting next to the active crater southeast of Etna, if I'm right. And first of all, tell us about how you felt when you realized that NASA was going to be publishing your, your picture. Because I, I remember the, the first recognition that you got is in your town. But now, all of a sudden, you have got global fame with NASA publishing it all over the world. And that's how I saw it. How, how did you feel that day? Beh, questo certamente mi aiuta a fare sempre di più perché mh, ovviamente ci sono ormai delle aspettative, ma nello stesso tempo in parte mi imbarazza perché adesso devo necessariamente non deludere tutte le aspettative di queste persone che appunto mi seguono e, e pensano che qualsiasi mia foto possa essere chissà cosa, ma in realtà mm. mi piace anche fare delle foto e magari anche si sì, postarle senza avere un riscontro di quelli che possono essere plateali, ecco. Yes. And in, in some way this changed the the way she approached the photography because uh, uh whilst she continues to take pictures of what she really like and uh, without thinking to uh, other people who will appreciate her pictures but uh, also she feels very um stimulated to 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 create uh, pictures that are more and more appreciated because there are always some kind of uh, expectations from uh, what she um, took picture of so she loves to to have this kind of a uh, uh, expectations expectations but she also uh, tries to keep her interest just in the things she loves to take picture of uh, even if those pictures might not be appreciated by the all the people that follows her yeah i think that's that's true passion right you keep doing uh, what you want to do irrespective of what the reaction is and marcella could you tell us a little bit about cisadu c i s a i think it's centro Ibilio study astronomy right and you are now a board member there what do you all do at this particular organization and what do you promote there il CISA è un'associazione locale del, sì, della, della mia provincia che, alla quale fa capo l'Unione Astrofi Italiani che è una, diciamo, un ramo un po' più grosso che si occupa proprio di divulgazione astronomica CISA stands for 
uh, center. Ibleo stands for uh, the, 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 bridge, uh, the, the place where Marcella lives. Astronomy studies, and it's part of the UAI. UAI is uh, the uh, Society of Astro Italian Astro astrophotographers. E ci si muove sia per quanto riguarda la divulgazione dell'astronomia. Yeah. Um... And, uh, and the, they, this association aims to, uh, to divulgate to, to the divulgation of the science, the research. E il, uh, combattere anche l'inquinamento luminoso. And, and also to fight the uh, light pollution. E quindi siamo molto attivi con queste associazioni, eh, giriamo, insomma, organizziamo eventi eh, nelle piazze. Yeah. They create some events, uh, especially in the, um, in the towns all over Italy and Sicily. Oh, oh, in, loca and, in luoghi dove c'è meno inquinamento. And try to involve the citizens and the uh, administration to turn the lights off uh, just to... To, to regain all the, the night sky that sometimes is a... Uh, per scoprire l'importanza anche dell'osservazione del cielo. Yeah. To rediscover the importance of observing the sky. That's beautiful. È un, no, è un nome in latino, Pictores Celi, è composto da uh, five members, uh, Daria Giannobile, Giorgia Hofer, Alessia Scarso, Stefano De Rosa. Uh, five astrophotographer. <laughs> um, ci confrontiamo uh, all'interno di, di questo gruppo e cerchiamo di migliorarci dandoci consigli a vicenda. Yes, these are five astron astrophotographers and they, mm, uh, they try to uh, change experiences and, uh, and to improve uh, their not only technical but their vision of the e oltretutto abbiamo proprio una regola un regolamento di eh, rendere quanto più autentica la foto senza yeah. fare dei ritocchi yeah. uh, so uh, and, and marcella sa says that uh, they also have a sort of a, a protocol an internal protocol an internal rule of uh, uh, trying to avoid to manipulate too much uh, pictures so Um, there are some very strict rules in order to maintain the uh, naturality of pictures. Uh, can we find work or photographs from this particular group, Marsala? And is there some way you can tell us where our listeners can go online and look at these pictures? Yes, you can find Pictores Celi uh, on Instagram or, and, uh, so Facebook and also on Facebook. I just want to move a little bit to... Marcella, your interest in animals, where you said that whatever you're doing, obviously, is you're looking up into the sky, which is something really beautiful. But you also have an interest in preserving wildlife or looking around you at the same time. Could you tell us a little bit more about, do you also photograph animals? And it must be difficult for you not to click animals, right? Allora, io non, io non sono un, un animalista, ecco, quello che sottolineo è che um, il mio interesse è quello per uh, la vita in generale e mi rendo conto che uh, noi uomini stiamo un po' abusando troppo della natura mm. um, e questo fa sì che le mie attenzioni si rivolgono verso questa, questa, mm. quello che è la natura, eh, quello che è l'ambiente e, e, e gli animali. Yes. Uh, Marcella dice che non è un animalista. She doesn't, uh, her interest for animals is the same interest she has for nature, she th for, for life. Uh, she thinks that um, we all are uh, um, exaggerating. Is... Io non mi, non mi sento molto più importante, io non credo she... che la mia vita sia più importante no. del ragnetto che mi sta passando in questo she... momento davanti. <laughs> she doesn't, she thinks that her life is not more important than a spider's life that is just walking around. So she tries to, um, to protect animals mm, just because they, they deserve the same uh, respect that um, we have for people. 
eh, non mi è mai capitato di fotografare, eh, di fare delle foto notturne con gli animali, se non con eh, i miei cani quando mm. se la sentono, ma in genere sono molto riservati loro. Yeah. She, uh, she never tried to uh, take pictures of animals or uh, in, in the nature or in the wildlife, except for, the, for her dogs, but it depends if the do these dogs are uh, in, the, in the good mood for being pictured. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if they are not if they are not in the good mood if they are not in a good mood then Marcella has to go out and look at the moon. Yeah. <laughs> <Sadly. laughs> yeah. And, and, and yeah. And also Marcella you are doing so many things. Uh, you are a teacher as well. Oh, First uh, I'm yeah. sure a lot of us want to ask you how do you manage your time between everything that you're doing how do you manage to produce such quality work so much of detail plus your involvement with this how do you manage your day and your time Beh, il lavoro uh, si svolge la mattina, le foto spesso le faccio di notte, quindi, yeah. eh, e poi ecco, non, non, non esco a fotografare, almeno eh, non programmo delle volte la fotografia, ma me la ritrovo perché ho sempre con me la macchina fotografica, pertanto se vedo qualcosa eh, nel cielo, qualche particolare, ho sempre la macchina pronta per farlo, mentre magari sto eh, correggendo i compiti dei, degli alunni. Yes, she's saying that she is lucky enough because the she teaches at uh, during the daylight and and uh, at night time she has the the chance to take pictures of the, of what she likes to take picture of and um, and also they uh, she she she's saying that she doesn't plan to take pictures in a um, but sometimes she take pictures while she's doing something else she has always a camera with with her uh, that's that's always that's always a great idea because you never know uh, when you get get a great picture and marcella is there a particular event or astronomical event that you wish you would able to capture or you are hoping to capture eh, sì, spesso mi, in questo periodo mi reco uh, a Reggio Calabria, là dove è nato il fenomeno della Fata Morgana. Yes. Um, Ultimamente. Yes. Uh, lately, uh, Mar Marcella is saying that she is trying to catch to the Fata Morgana and so she uh, tries to go the Fata Morgana Mirage. So she tries, she goes to Reggio Calabria. Reggio Calabria is a city in the southern part of Italy in front of Sicily and she, she tries to, to catch the Fata Morgana Mirage. Sono riuscita l'anno scorso però a riprenderlo su una nave ma non sulla città di Messina. And she was able to take the, this very rare phenomena but on, on, a, on a ship uh, but not uh, to the city of, uh, in front of the city of Messina that is what her goal was taking the picture of the city of Messina through the mirage of Fata Morgana and she was not able to now and this is the this is the place where the might of the Fata Morgana was born many 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 centuries ago do you have a, a role model or somebody's photography that you look up to and say that you enjoy that particular person's work Uh, ho dei riferimenti, vabbè, come fotografo uh, um, apprezzo molto i lavori di Babak Tafreschi. And she uh, appreciates so much the um, a photographer Baba called Tafreschi. Baba Tafreschi. Um, ma uh, i miei riferimenti a livello um, più scientifico per la ricerca di quello che io faccio, delle, dei fenomeni ottici atmosferici, sono Les Cowley e Andy T. Young. And the um, scientific um, mm, references uh, are uh, Andrew T. Young and Les Coley. Ah, sì, Les Coley, del sito Atoptics. Uh, Les Coley is the, um, uh, runs the Atoptics, Atoptics uh, uh, website, is a, is a, a website very rich in. Uh, Uh, studies and exp explanations of phenomena, atmospheric phenomena. 
Marcella, I just wanted to ask you about a particular picture that I found really interesting and I wanted to know how you all actually got that done. Again, I'm going to be pronouncing it. I hope it's Italian. I pronounce it right. I think it's called Il Teatro Ortico. It's a circle where you have all the people yes. in a circle and there are stars. Can you just explain that picture to us, please? Uh, mi è venuta l'idea perché um, uh, ho acquistato un, un um, grandangolare. Yeah, the idea came from a purchase of a, a grandangular uh, object. object. Um, per fotografare, per riprendere um, quando ci sono dei fenomeni che si manifestano a est e a ovest contemporaneamente e quindi mi permette di riprendere tutto il cielo. Uh, it's a device that um, allows um, to, to take pictures of uh, the whole sky from east to west. Mi è venuta l'idea di uh, contornare, diciamo, il, di mettere tutto intorno all'obiettivo uh, gli omini, mh, degli omini, insomma, uh, che ritraessero il teatro ottico. Uh, and the idea was to uh, put some small uh, figures of, uh, of a man uh, um, in, the, in, a, in the same way that it was uh, in the past in the optical theater. Um, così facendo, ruotando, ruotando questo disco con sopra gli omini, si veniva a creare un video con del movimento. And in doing so, uh, with this uh, little man, um, it, um, it created a, a movement uh, um, around this picture. E quindi ogni scatto muovevo il, um, il cerchio dove erano posizionati questi omini so, attorno all'obiettivo. So at every uh, shoot uh, um, she moved the circle where these uh, small, um, small men were uh, um, positioned. E alla fine è venuto fuori sia una foto um, con lo star trail puntando verso il nord and, and so at the same time it was a picture of a star trail pointing at the north eh, con in sottofondo la musica il cui autore è Paolo <laughs> okay and there was, a, there, there was also a video about this and with some music in, in the background <laughs> sì in genere lui diciamo uh, c'è un canale youtube dove metto inserisco tutti i miei video um, e la musica in sottofondo è realizzata proprio da, da Paolo <laughs> ok um, and she has a, also a, a youtube channel where she puts all, all, her, all her videos her movies e questo lavoro ritrae un, um, gli omini sono ripresi da un lavoro di eh, Mo Bridge uh, del 1887 intitolato L'uomo yeah. che cammina. And in, in this particular picture this was uh, uh, inspired by a work by Edward Moe Bridge uh, called A Man Walking. It, it was a, it's a work from uh, 1887 che era diciamo, uno, de, uno dei fotografi che sperimentò il movimento del corpo umano attraverso proprio la fotografia, yes. gli scatti and, fotografici. Um, Muybridge was a, a photographer who, uh, one of the first photographer to experiment uh, with the, um, the, 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 dei... the movement of a man through photography. That's beautiful because even when I was looking at the picture, it it did look to me that once you turn that wheel in the olden days, I guess, it created the illusion of movement. But that's beautiful. Thank you, you very mean, much. You mean gracias? Exactly, yeah. Grazie, grazie tante. Grazie, grazie. Yeah. And yeah. You, you spoke about your YouTube channel. I will mention it in the podcast in my introduction again. Uh, but Oh, I have mentioned it in my introduction. Can you just tell us all what is your YouTube channel so we can find that and you're going to have hopefully many more people joining? 
questo canale raccolgo perché oltre a riprendere fotograficamente alcuni fenomeni eh, mi piace vedere la loro evoluzione e quindi spesso li, li riprendo e realizzo sia la foto magari anche un, uh, ho una macchina fotografica che utilizzo appositamente per queste riprese eh, e realizzo quindi anche il video perché molti di questi fenomeni hanno bisogno di vedere anche il movimento come ad esempio yeah. il sole che tramonta yeah. uh, it, it's, um, it's a, a channel where Mar Marcella uh, shares um, the, 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 the videos of many of the pictures she, she takes because she says that she sometimes feels the, the need to, to catch even the, um, the movement of uh, what she, she sees. So uh, very often at the same time when she uh, take a picture, there is a camera working. Great. But I'm just trying to know what is the name of her channel if people want to watch that on YouTube? Uh, Marcella Giulia Pace. You can find it uh, just searching Marcella Giulia Pace on the, on the search box or in YouTube. Perfect. And uh, with so much of interest in the art or the form of art of photography with how you're pursuing whatever you're doing, Marcella, what kind of books do you like reading? And the reason I'm asking you that is I'm just trying to look for other inspiration that comes to you or how do you channel certain information into what you see and then what you get on a photograph. Are there special books that you like reading or do you even like reading and what else do you do for inspiration? Yeah. Uh, I, I have uh, um, uh, Light and Color on Outdoors uh, di Min Hart um, per me una, un grosso libro di riferimento per tutte le osservazioni del cielo, sia degli astri che anche dei fenomeni ottici che, alla, per la quale ho interesse. Ok. Uh, one of the books that she consider her main reference is uh, Light and Color in the Outdoors by M.G.J. Uh, Mina Hirt. It's spelled M I and N A E R T and it's a um, there there are many um, examples and many um, mm, explanations of uh, of what she's interested in or, or rainbow and, halos and glories the um, robert grenler yeah and another reference book Grenler. that she really loves is uh, rainbows halos and glories by uh, Robert Greenler. Normalmente piace leggere saggisti, saggi, uh, come quelli di Stephen, o Stephen Hawking, um, comunque principalmente saggisti, saggi, ecco. Yeah. She, she loves to, to, to uh, study but also about biographies and um, she's very fond of Stephen Hawking. Oh yeah, that's uh, a brief history of time, right? That book is something that all of us have read i hope all of us have read and if not then we definitely uh, yeah. need to need to read that book again and again yeah yeah exactly again and again has she ever captured an unidentified flying Unidentic. object or like they call it now uaps an un unidentified aerial phenomenon and i want to know what her thoughts are on that no no mai beccato un ufo però tutti um, quando vedono le mie fotografie riconoscono un UFO o un fenomeno <ride> particolare perché sono cose che magari non vengono osservate e quindi le scambiano uh, per uh, oggetti non identificati um, e per cui sono costretta sempre a spiegare che non si tratta. Di... No, she, she never uh, spot... Non le ritrovo mai, cioè, no, non fotografo mai UFO, non mi è mai capitato, però capita che la gente li vede nelle mie foto. <ride> She never happened to, to take picture of a UFO, she never saw one, but she happens to have people uh, consider some of the objects in her pictures as a UFO. They think that the UFO are UFO, but they are not, actually. Yeah, in fact, that's, a, that's very interesting because if information is not checked 
she could have one of her picture put up by somebody saying this is a UFO spotted and it happens to be natural phenomenon. So <laughs> Marcella, with uh, all that you're doing in Italy at the moment, do you also see this particular project of yours going global? And when I say you already are global online, but if there are people from other countries listening, if somebody from India wants to contribute in some way, or you see that this needs to expand beyond boundaries, technically, it already has on the internet. Do you have something in mind where people can be part of it as well from other countries? Yes, Marcella is saying that, uh, of course, there would, would be um, space and it would be very interesting because sometimes there are uh, phenomena that happen uh, in the same time in different places of the of the world, for example. Like sometimes she tries to catch, uh, for example, uh, from Sicily, things happening in Malta and people from Malta that see the same phenomena from Malta towards Sicily and uh, the social help to, to, to share this kind of uh, observations at the same time in the same... Uh, so, so mm, yes, it would be great. Nice. And Ma, if you need anything that's happening in India or even the Indian skies where we can connect, Marcella, just let us know. We'll put a message out and make yeah. sure that somebody gets that picture and sends it to you. Yes, on, absolutely. She says that uh, it would be great to for her to receive from, for example, from India, uh, phenomena like uh, uh, mirages. Uh, there are uh, ref uh, uh, refraction of the sun of the moon uh, refractions uh, related to the sun or uh, to the moon uh, be because of the, the, the special kind of light that um, there must be in a, a geographically uh, so so large and um, to share for example the uh, solar analemma but from India. Uh, that is very different uh, than from uh, Europe, for example. This kind of, uh, to, to make a comparison of how um, the sky moves uh, differently from one part of the world or in a, in a part like India, there is enormous, but, uh, in a southern part of, uh, um, of the globe. So the Analemma would be another very interesting, uh, she would be very interested in this kind of things. Uh, Marcella, do you also follow the pictures that are now coming to us from Hubble Space Telescope? Principalmente uh, seguo molto quello che, uh, che appunto viene condiviso, ad esempio da uh, Space Weather, che un po' abbraccia tutte le fotografie che provengono da tutto il mondo, anche riguardo proprio i telescopi, mm. eh, ma non uh, seguo principalmente in remoto. Okay. Um, she's very interested and she follows very um, with attention what the space weather uh, posts. There are pictures from uh, most of the telescopes, um, and but, but she doesn't uh, follow a specific telescope. So, what uh, the in remoto, non, non, non mi collego in remoto she, per quello che voglio sapere yeah. con i telescopi. She, uh, she never. Uh, uses to connect remotely to any telescopes, but uh, space weather is the hub she's most interested interested to. Okay, okay. And I've also seen she's, uh, I think it either was her photo uh, photograph where she clicked uh, Mount Etna. Can, can she confirm? Yeah, you have a photo of Mount Etna. Sì, uh, l'ultima eclisse che c'è stata, abbiamo avuto l'eclissi di, di Luna um, e l'ho ripresa mentre um, tramontava su, su Letna. Ecco. Yes, uh, there was a, in Italy a recent uh, eclipse on the 16th of May and she took the eclipse uh, behind the Mount Etna and she took these pictures from... Uh, from Calabria, many, many kilometers from the Etna, just to get in the, the moon behind the Etna. Mentre c'era la colata, anzi in questi giorni l'Etna è molto attiva. Yes, uh, and, and in, this, uh, 
in these very days, the mountain Etna that is a volcano is very it is um, erupting, so it's very. Eh, delle volte lo riprendo anche da, da qui, da Ragusa, perché è visibile eh, nonostante ci siano 100 km, ma è una montagna così alta, più di 3.400 eh, mm. metri, e riesco a, a fotografarla anche da qui, anche quando è in eruzione. Sì, yes. uh, the, the Etna è un volcano in Sicily, um, è molto visibile da tutta la Sicily, specialmente quando è erupting. Because it's very high and also because it's a, a sort of red dot in the sky. It's very spectacular. Yeah, I know it's it's I think the last eruption there was somewhere in 2021, but I had seen that picture of uh, where she had clicked it on Mount Etna and I and I wanted to know from her about just the story beyond behind Mount Etna is so interesting, or the mythology where It is supposed to be, there is supposed yes. to be, right? Is it called Typhoon, who was trapped under the mountain by Zeus, who, who who's supposed to be the the yes. god of the sky and the thunder. So is 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 she familiar with that story? Sì, uh, di Efesto, che è la fucina di Efesto, yeah. uh, dove c'erano le viscere, insomma, della... Uh, il luogo anche di accesso agli inferi. Yes, yes, she she she, she knows something about uh, the mythology of uh, the Etna. Uh, she, so that there are many legends that are still very um, uh, lively here in Sicily. Many many people think about uh, loves to think about. Uh, C'è stata una foto che l'APOD della NASA mi pubblicò, è stato il mio primo proprio APOD, eh, e riguardava proprio una luna che tramontava sull'Etna e l'ho intitolata, proprio dedicata alla fucina di Efesto. One of the pictures that was uh, posted by the NASA was uh, primo, one, the, the very first picture that was posted as an APOD, APOD. Uh, was uh, the was entitled uh, the Fucina di Efesto. Fucina is uh, a laboratory of Efesto. Efesto is was one of the gods of uh, the the hell that, according to the Greek mythology. E questa immagine mostra la luna che avvicinandosi nella lava, sì, al, nel getto lavico, eh, avvicinandosi ovviamente prospetticamente parlando, ehm, sembrava per l'osservatore che si sciogliesse perché proprio per effetto della rifrazione del calore che proveniva dal vulcano. E ciò che è stato trovato interessante da NASA è l'effetto di questa luna. Uh, behind the the mountain Etna during the, an eruption, and it appeared to be melting um, behind these uh, very warm uh, vapors. Yeah, that's that's amazing, and I think, like you were saying, probably at times like this, a video would also be very good, right? So you can, when you say vapor, you can see the movement of the vapor and the effect that that has on its. It's like a mirage, basically. Yes, um, uh, in my YouTube channel, uh, it's possible to uh, uh, look um, this, uh, watch uh, this video, uh, Fucina di Efesto, title, the yes. title. You can find on, on her YouTube channel this video uh, called the Fucina di Efesto. Perfect. And... I know I've taken a lot of your time as well, but just for everybody listening, Marcella, we have, a, like I said, we have a lot of students who are in college, in universities, people listening to you in uh, probably jobs that they are doing during the day and have a passion to do something else. What would your message be to somebody who's listening to you as an inspiration? How would you encourage them to follow what they want to do? in between their day jobs people are people are or people say they are busy and do not have time for them to follow what they want to do intanto c'è di fatto che comunque non, non guardiamo più il cielo perché non ne abbiamo più bisogno 
possiamo dire che un tempo, eh, se dovessimo in, uno, in, in un incontro eh, temporale ritrovarci con un eh, vissuto nel, avanti, in un secolo avanti Cristo, sarebbe più in grado di raccontarci il cielo più di quanto lo possiamo raccontarne noi, che lo traduciamo in un orologio mm. nel polso. Che, ma che consiglio puoi dare? E il consiglio che posso dare è quello di riagganciare il proprio tempo e il proprio spazio, osservando... Uh, il cielo, i movimenti, il, mov il movimento del sole, il movimento del, di una costellazione, mm. eh, per imparare proprio a, mh, a, ad apprezzare delle cose che non sono soltanto sulla Terra, ma anche sopra di noi. Eh, mm. E poi ecco di ehm, uh, iniziare anche con un piccolo strumento, con, eh, i cellulari di oggi effettivamente danno la possibilità di effettuare degli scatti. Okay. Um, quindi uh, utilizzare il cellulare piuttosto uh, che per chattare, per magari cogliere delle, delle, delle inquadrature e delle cose che generalmente ci sfuggono. Ok, uh, Marcella says, says that she's suggesting two main things. One is uh, to pay attention, just paying attention to what happened in the sky. Because uh, today, uh, Marcella says, we don't observe anymore because we don't need to observe the sky as uh, 1,000 years ago uh, or, or, or before uh, the man needed to, to do. Now we have uh, applications, we have apps, we have mobiles, so um, we don't navigate, or, we, we don't need, but she suggests just to pay attention. And the other suggestion, linked it to pay attention is to to use just a mobile um, you don't need to have a, a sophisticated gear cameras and so on that surely help but many of the um, devices we have today are good enough what you need to do is just to pay attention and take pictures of what you observe This is something that everybody can afford in their, even in a very busy schedule, busy life. Non necessariamente per fotografare e pubblicare sui social. Tantissime foto mie me le tengo proprio per me perché sono momenti che voglio che restino con me. Non è necessario mostrarle, ecco, no. ma uh, utilizzarle come un, un, uh, per rivedersele um, a casa, insomma, e, e, si, mi distraggono i cani che intanto fanno il loro... Yeah, and not necessarily to think to, to overpost things on the, on the social websites, because most of the pictures that Marcella takes, she says, that are just for herself, just to take memory, to, to be... Uh, To, to remember the association, for example, between a weather condition and, uh, a, and a phenomena. Because, uh, uh, and, and also she says to, to take note of, uh, of the general uh, situation, the time, the, the place, and the kind of uh, humidity, or uh, um, because uh, as, uh, um, paying attention, taking pictures and uh, remembering what uh, the, the conditions were the, when the picture was made can uh, help to improve very quickly. True, that's beautiful. And I think it's very similar to probably when you listen to a song, an old song, you immediately listen to a song and you can place yourself in the moment that it happened maybe 20, 30 years ago when you were first listening to that song, right? Si, And, si, yes. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yeah. Right. And before we let you go again, I still want to know a little bit uh, more about you now, Pablo. And you've been really generous spending time with us, talking to me and Marcella. Pablo, could you tell us uh, what you do? Would you want to tell us a little bit more about yourself? <laughs> okay. Um, just related to what Marcella does, if you will have the chance to take a, a look at Marcella's video, um, most of the music that uh, uh, there is put as a background with, to Marcella's videos are music from me, because I, I play guitar and yeah. 
uh, and I'm a, a sort of a, a helper with Marcella. I go and I learn so much every time Marcella goes and take pictures of uh, of the sky or the moon or the sky. Uh, I I will always be grateful to Marcella for all the things I've learned and um, and and for that attitude that she uh she taught me to to have this kind of special concentration to to observe to to don't not being distracted this is something i will uh, will always be grateful about um, to marcel that's amazing and do you do you also compose your own music and uh, put your music out on any platform or you do it as a hobby yeah, no, it's a, it's just a hobby. Uh, but I have a, a trio, and we consider this trio uh, the most important thing we do in our in our day life. But my main job is um, a, 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 is other, and so I, I consider uh, music and um, my my main interest anyway. But I don't make a business of it. Okay, okay. And your favorite musician would be who? If I, if we had to ask you one of your favorite musicians, oh, I have many favorite musicians. And uh, for example, I I really love King Crimson and Robert Fripp. So it's a kind of progressive music. But also, I love uh, musicians like Ralph Towner and Chick Corea, or uh, musicians in the area of the jazz improvisation not bebop especially but improvisation the 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 trio i play with uh we perform with uh we are two guitars and uh, a video maker and we uh, create mm, music in uh together music and Im images uh as a as a, the, the basis are compositions but sometimes we love to to go somewhere with uh, long improvisations uh, including these uh, video creations very psychedelic if you want <laughs> yeah very interesting because i think uh, i mean i enjoy that as well i do that i do a lot of that i i love putting image a uh, video and music together uh, and it can go as long as like you say you want to sometimes you improvise it sometimes sometimes the music tells you what video goes with it and sometimes the video tells you what music goes with it but when it comes together at that <laughs> moment and you watch it at least you are very happy with what you've done, right? Yeah, yes. <laughs> no, no, not always, but yes, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, I, I know exactly. Yeah. I know exactly what what you are saying. I've spent a lot of time doing ah. that. But again, uh, Marcella and Paolo from all of us in India. Before we let you go again, if I can just awesome. repeat your particular Instagram or your Insta Insta page for. Everybody listening, it's Marcella, M A R C E L L A G I U L I A P A C E. You will find all her images on uh, Instagram. You'll also find that on Twitter. Uh, most of the images that she's clicked are of the night sky with either some uh, astronomical bodies there, but and before we let you go, Marcella, is there any message that you want to pass on to all of us listening to you here in India? Che spero e mi auguro di riuscire nella mia vita a venire a visitare l'India, che è così grande, e trovare un posto in questa immensa terra dove poter fare le le mie foto e le mie osservazioni e conoscere la gente eh, mi piacerebbe tantissimo venire in India yeah. uh, she would be very happy to, to, to come to India sometimes in, in, in the future um, a, a magical uh, a mystical place a very legendary we, uh, she, she was she, she grew up with the stories about India so she she would be very happy to to go sometimes to India to take picture of this uh, fantastic land, fantastic place, and she 
e condividere la mia passione magari con gente del posto. And, and okay. to share passion with some people from India and to share experiences and yeah. Yes. Uh, definitely anytime you plan to come down to India, Marcella, you let us know. Uh, everybody here would, I'm, I'm sure there'll be a lot of people who will be interested in collaborating with you once we're here and thank you so much for spending your time with us i just hope you've had a good time and we can catch up again sometime and do this again grazie a voi grazie a voi per avermi contattata per aver per aver gradito uh, la, i miei lavori e, e per questa intervista um, che, che abbiamo organizzato e mi ha, mi ha dato tanta tanta gioia grazie Giacquin. Uh, thank you, Joaquin, for this uh, for the time you dedicated to Marcella, she says, and to the attention that you and your uh, uh, listeners um, have to to what Marcella is saying. And she 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 was very happy to to be interviewed by you. Um, thanks again. It's it's definitely a pleasure, Marcella. And before you go, I just wanted to let you know if you get a chance to look at the Indian Jeans logo, that actually is a sun, a moon, this and the earth, along with a star. So it's technically in one logo. I've tried to capture the whole universe. I hope I've got that right. Yes, yes she noticed this, and she's, it's very special. <laughs> Uh, very nice. Anche il, il senso dell'altalena che dà questa ancora uh, and, um, richiama un po' la, la passione proprio per l'astronomia che chia, richiama um, and, and la also for, for a jigsaw <laughs> in your logo that is a sort of a uh, perché è qualcosa che comunque da bambini uh, ci attira molto l'astronomia yeah. e poi ci, ci a, a, un po' ab ad abbandonare ed è un qualcosa che ci fa tornare bambini something that creates a sort of link between the when we were child and the present and something that we try to forget our childhood and, and it's, it's the same uh, thing that happened with uh, observing the, the nature something that when we are child uh, with, 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 yeah, a, a jigsaw pointing at the sky. Uh, yes, it's very nice your logo, Marcella says. <laughs> Absolutely. So, once again, thank you very much and we can do this again. This Hubhopper original is a great deal. If you want to launch your podcast, you can register the Hubhopper Studio website and in a minute, अपना खुद का पॉडकास्ट लॉन्च करें यही नहीं स्टूडियो देता है आपको पूरी आजादी कहीं भी कभी भी अपना पॉडकास्ट लॉन्च करने की सिर्फ तीन आसान स्टेप्स में तो साथ में अपना पॉडकास्ट शुरू करने के लिए तैयार जस्ट हॉप ऑन हब हॉपर सिंपली कंटेंट